Hello, it's Lou Collins, and today I want to show you how you can use the textures, brush strokes, um, the art image stamps, and the coordinating dies as well together. This is a new concept, um, a new way of working with stamps and dies that we've developed to make lining your stamps up with your dies much, much easier. So I've pulled the camera really close. Uh, let's take a look at how these work. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of the stamps, I'll take two of the stamps, and we will pop these onto an acrylic block. So I'll just space that there. And then we'll take the coordinating die. So in this case, we've got the brush die here. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure that I can use this later, is add a little bit of tape underneath. Now this is just a repositionable tape. And I'm just going to take a strip of it and I'm going to lay my die over the top. And that way I can pick my die up once I've done this technique. So I'm now going to ink my stamp there with a, a black ink. Now you can use any colour ink of course. I would suggest not using a water-based ink like for example Distress Ink because that pulls on the metal. You want one that has a little bit of solvent in there. So Versafine is absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to go over my stamped image. Now these images are all hand-drawn. Um, there's a lot of detail in there and you can absolutely use them without the dies of course. You can build up the layers. You could do masking with these images which is really fun. I'm going to hover that inked stamp over the die. Now this fits absolutely perfectly and when I drop this stamp gently down onto the die, because of the cutting blades that are raised up around the die, the stamp just sinks in to the right place on the die. So I can press this down now using my fingers, not too hard, just gently lift that up and as you can see the image from the stamp is impressed into that die there in the perfect place. Now I'm just going to bring in my white cardstock and pop my die over the top and I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. So I've die cut that out I'm just going to lift this image out and turn it around for you and you'll see the stamped image is in absolutely the perfect place. Now if you were to stamp this image, we've still got a bit of ink on there, and then use your die and try to line that up, it's always a little bit unpredictable. It will work but it's never perfect. This way you will get perfect stamping every time and you do have as well a little bit of embossing included in the die that embeds in there that adds to that texture so this is really speeding up your stamping and your die cutting process so I'll clean that away later but what we can do now is we can color in this image but once you've colored it in you've got the tabs on the side now this just allows you to fold these over and then create a 3D image when you're sticking it down. So what I'm going to do is quickly colour in this paintbrush and then we'll show you how to glue this down. Now I've brought in one of my patterned papers from the Brushstrokes A5 pattern paper pack. I'm going to fold those tabs back over again. And I'm going to take something like a pokey tool, um, a pen or pencil would also work. And I'm just going to roll the paper over the pokey tool there just to uh, give it a little bit of shape, just to give it a little bit of depth. And just roll it over there so that we've got it slightly domed. And now we've got that shape, rather than gluing it down flat, what we can do is we can add glue just to these tabs underneath and then we can stick them down that way. So you can use hot glue for this, you could use double sided tape, whatever is your preference. I like a wet glue and I like to just hold it for a moment or so while the glue sticks. So when I'm sticking this down what I do is I bend the paintbrush, let's pop the paintbrush just here. So I bend the paintbrush in a little more than it would be and then I just let it fall down onto those tabs that we created 
and then if you're not sure whether your tabs have caught you can take a pokey tool just run it down inside along the edges you'll be able to feel where the tabs are and just press those tabs down making sure that they are stuck there we go so there we have our paintbrush dimensional stamped and die cut perfectly and looking brilliant on a card now i'm just going to run through that process once more for you with one of the paint tubes just so you can see it done again So there's the paint tube again stamped and die cut absolutely perfectly the lines are just in the right place and you can color that you can then again use these tabs to roll and bend your paint palette once or your paint pot or tube once it is colored in you can leave it white and just add color to the swatch area here or you could color it in silver again use the tabs to glue down and you'll have another dimensional item to add to your project.